Hello guys, welcome to web designing HTML CSS course. My name is Vaseem and today we are going to start our lecture number 10. Before starting the lecture, I will request to everyone, please subscribe my channel, like my videos and share my videos with everyone so that everyone can get this knowledge and make their own websites very easily. Now let's start. So today guys, we are going to start our professional work that uh, how we can create our professional website with the help of HTML and CSS. Now, this is my editor. This is Dreamweaver in which I will start to create HTML and CSS professional websites. And today we will start from that how to control the layout of the website with the help of CSS. Now, let me show you first one example. So guys, this is the example website that we have created this website in our last website designing lecture series that we have created this website with the help of the table tag in the HTML. Right? You can see the website is look like professional. Now, Today, first of all, we are going to start our website with the help of div. This website is created with the help of the table tag in the notepad. The editor was notepad. Now we will make our website in the Dreamweaver and with the help of the div. Now the starting point that we are from, we are going to start, you can see this is our website and it's in the middle so there is one container div we will make how we will make how we can make our container div for the website right you can see this is all the website area we can put any background here and this is our container area right now let's start first of all i will open my html file when i'm going to click on the html file it gives me all the essential html tags like what let me explain for the newcomers who join us today so guys this is my HTML opening tag and this is my HTML closing tag. Whenever, whatever, wherever I have to write anything in the website, everything will be inside these two opening and closing tags. Right now, this is my head section. This is head opening tag and this is head closing tag. In this head tag, I have to write about the title of the website, about the CSS of the website, about the JavaScript of the website. If you have more than one CSS, you will write here more than one CSS. And uh, if you are going to work in the bootstrap, then you will write here bootstrap, right? How you can write these files, I will tell you in this lecture also. And this is my body tag this one the remaining part of the website we will write in the body tag how we will write also we will explain in the further lectures also in the today lecture i will tell you that how you can do this now what i will do is as this is my html file so if you are going to work in the professional way then always please use external css do not use the inline css I have told you the difference between the internal and external CSS in the last lectures. You can review my lectures and if you do not understand anything, you can comment me. I will answer your questions. Now how I can make the external website? Simply I will click on the file and the new button. Here it will ask me about open the files. I will select here CSS. So this is my CSS file. Now first of all, 
what I will do is I will save my HTML and CSS file. Now on the desktop, I will make a one new folder with the name of the website, right? Because this is the CSS file. So I will write here name like style.css. I will save this CSS file in the website folder, right? Now, this is my HTML file. Whenever you are going to save your first file of the website, you have to save that file with the name of the index, right? In the same folder where I have saved my CSS file, in the same folder, I will save my HTML file index.html. This extension is very important to write here. HTML. If you are going to work in the PHP, then you will write here index.php. Now we are going to work in the .html, so I will write here .html. This is very important. If you are not going to write this extension here, then you are not able to see your desired output on the browser. I will save this index.html file. Now, to show you whether we have to the work correctly, first of all, I will write here first website in the title. Where the title is shown, let me tell you this thing also. I will open this folder. We have created this folder here will click here and this is my index file I will click here and write open with the Firefox here you can see this is my file index.html and this is the title the title is showing here first website if I will change anything and you will see the difference I will save this and refresh my browser so uh, whenever you can see the website is here right whenever you are going to see your output it is very very recommended and necessary to save your files first if you are not going to save your file and you want to see your output you cannot see your output now what i will do is i will link my c this css file this is my external css file right whenever we are going to create css separately like this style.css i have created and save it this is called the external css how i will link this css with my html here i will write the link tag like this you can see this is called indentation link so what i will write here i will write here hyper reference hyper reference where I have saved my file I will write here the path this is my folder and this is my style I will click here and it will be style.css at the at your screen now what I want to see you here the most important thing if you are not going to write the proper path here then you are not able to see your output properly because you are going to make the classes in the CSS file and if your CSS file is not connected with HTML file so you are not able to see your outputs so the most important thing is please write here the correct path if my style sheet is in is in the style folder like uh, this is my style sheet and if I will make a one folder like style if I have more than one style sheet then what I will do is I will make a style folder and I will put this style sheet in this folder then what will be my path I will write here style fold first of all the style folder then style.css why because my HTML file is also in that folder right in the website folder so the path is very important now
how I can connect the CSS file I was telling you I write the link tag hyper reference my style sheet name then I will write here the Arial relation what relation I will write here style sheet like this is my style sheet and I will write here what I will write here type type is what CSS and I will close my tag I will save this so in this way my style sheet is connected with the HTML now what I want to do is let me show you the output there will be nothing to show you because we have not created any class or we have not write any HTML now in the HTML section first of all we have to write the container div whenever we are going to start our HTML we will write here container but before that I will write here body these two things are very important whenever you are going to make your CSS first is the body and the second one is the container div or container class in the body I will write here background color background color I will choose like uh, this color and save this to show you the output right here you can see this is our body right like uh, this one so the white area is the body now I will create the container and will tell you that how you can control the container tab with the help of the CSS because this is the basic thing to control the website right so this is body now we will create the container I will write here dot container why I have write here container uh, dot because I am going to make the class if I will write here hash then it means that I am going to create the ID so dot is used for the class IDs are create for the unique purposes while the classes are used classes are create for regular use in the website now in the container what I will write is first of all I will write here width Nine ninety pixel. Why I have right here nine ninety pixel because some of our Windows Explorer sports nine ninety pixels like XP Windows XP in our uh, websites. There are many users who uses XP Windows. So if you are going to write more than this value then the output of the website will be not proper on those browsers on those windows browsers right so what I will write here just to let you know I will put the height I will put 990 pixel and semicolon pixel is very important to write if you are not going to write pixel then you will not see your output properly and the semicolon is also very important so here I will write a border border like one pixel and the solid border I need this is the width one pixel solid mean that I need the solid line and the color what color I need I will select black I will save this refresh my browser can I see anything no because I have not mentioned this container class in my HTML file so in the HTML file this is my body tag you can 
you will write here div I will write here class right so you can see whenever you are going to write the class this is the structure of the class class is equal to these are double quotes in between you have to write the class whenever you are going to write the class you will see your indentation will tell you all the classes which you have created so here what I will write this is my class and the closing div so this is the div structure in the div how you can write the class if I have made this container with the hash then I will write here id right but this time I have made the class with the dot you can see here is the dot so that's why I have write here class container and one thing more you can see that uh, our style sheet is connected with the HTML file you can see this is the proof that in the CSS file we have put the background color and you can see the color in your website now what I will do is I will save my HTML file and save and show you the browser here you can see the border is showing here but I will put the background color in the CSS just to show you more better now what color I will select from here you can see I will select like this color right I will save this refresh my browser here you can see this is the background of the website right and this is the container div like this is the background and this is my container div right this is my container div what I want I want this container div in the middle because it should be in the middle like uh, if I'm going to decrease my browser percentage or increase my browser percentage you can see the website's container is on the left side so whenever you are going to see this on mobile or tablet you will not get this website in the proper way so that's why we put this container in the center here you can see the container is not in the center the container is on the left side how we can do this let me tell you first of all we should change the color because the color should be light like this and you can see this color is light now what I want to tell you how you can put this container in the center for this purpose I will write here margin left and I will put here auto I will save this style sheet and refresh my browser now here you can see on your website your container div is on the right side right because we have put here margin left auto so margin left auto means that your container div is on the right side now now but you want this container div in the center so in the same way as you have put there margin left auto in the same way you will write here margin right auto so both sides are equal now now when you are going to save your file and refresh your browser you can see your website container div is in the center here you can see if I am going to increase or decrease my browser percentage then you can see your websites 
container div is in the center so in this way whenever you are going to see your website in the mobile or tablet or any other media you will get your website in the proper way now you will notice this thing that this is the brown line here of the background of the website this container div should be start from the top why this line is here why this margin is showing here it's very important thing let me tell you you can remove this margin from the top it will also appear on the left side when I'm going to remove these margins from the container div right let me show you this thing here you can see the margin is on the left and the margin is on the top in the same way if my container div is with the width of the browser equal with the width of the browser you will see this margin on the right side also and also on the bottom how we can remove this margin to remove this margin always whenever you are going to write your body CSS you will write here margin 0 pixel and also the padding 0 pixel because by default body has some margin and paddings so in the start I told you whenever you are going to write the body you have to write the margin 0 and the padding 0 two things are very important in the CSS body and container these are the first two things you have to write in the CSS whenever you are going to write body you will write margin 0 and padding 0 let me show you the results for this here you can see margin on the top and margin on the left is 0 right the padding is for the inside of the body right now what I will do is margins are 0 now now I want this container div in the center of the website so for this purpose I will put here margin left and margin right auto and I will refresh my browser but before that I will save my CSS file and refresh my browser here you can see there is no margin on the top margin is removed and whenever you are going to see this website your container div will be in proper way so hope you are understand this thing if you do not understand this thing you can comment me I will answer your questions so if you like my video thumbs up my video in the next lecture I will start from this div from this container div I will tell you that how you can put the advertisement menu banners like this we will put the logo this is advertisement menu new sticker banner and uh, you can see this is our content area footer so we will start from this container div and I will put everything here like uh, menus logos banners right hope you are understand everything if you do not understand anything you can comment me if you like this video please thumbs up with this video subscribe my channel like my videos and share my videos with everyone so that everyone can get this knowledge and make their own websites this is for all today thank you so much